Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with another Christmas review, because uh, yes, we're leading to Christmas, another, how, how many days to Christmas? Um, hold up. What? No. Uh, there is... Seven or eight. There must be like seven or eight more to Oh, God. Jesus. Christmas is already around the blink. Seven days, 11 hours, and 55 minutes. That is how long till Christmas. So, I'm going to be reviewing another Christmas movie. Uh, and that is The Santa Claus. Um, with Tim Allen. So, yes. It's directed by John Pasquin. Produced by Robert. New Mayor, uh, Brian Rowley, Jeffrey Silver, written by Leo Brovetnu, Steve Rodnick, starring Tim Allen, Whitney Crewson, uh, David Crumsholt, Judge Reynold, uh, <coughs> Eric Lloyd, and Peter Boyle. Music is by Michael Convertino. Uh, cinematogra cinematography is from Walt Lloyd, edited by Larry Bock. Production companies from Walt well, Disney Pictures, Hollywood Pictures, and Outlaw Productions. Distributed by Benzo Vista Pictures, released on November 11th, 1994. Uh, the budget for this movie was $22 million, and they got $190.5 million. The plot for this movie is Scott Calvin, Tim Allen, a successful toy salesman, prepares to spend Christmas Eve with his young son, uh, young son, Charlie, Eric Lloyd. Scott wants Charlie to maintain his belief in Santa Claus, despite not believing himself. Scott's former wife, Lauren Wendy Cruson, and her file, I can't bloody read that, husband, Dr. Neil Miller, Judge Reynold, are both dropped believing in Santa at a young age, and feel that Charlie needs to do so as well. On Christmas Eve, Scott and Charlie are awakened by a noise on the roof. Scott, inv Scott investigates and finds and finds a man standing on the roof. Whom Scott startles into slipping and falling into the ground. The dead man's body disappears and leaves red behind a red suit and a business card sta stating that if anyone, if anything, were to happen to Santa Claus, whoever is responsible would have to put on the suit and continue from where Santa left off. Ensured by the car card that ra that the reindeer will know what to do. And please, Charlie, Scott dons the suit and spend the rest of the night delivering gifts before the reindeer take them to the North Pole. Once they arrive, Bernard David Crimsblot, the head elf, explains to Scott that because he put on the suit, he is subjected to legal technical technicality, known as the Santa Claus, meaning that he has agreed to accept all of the Santa Claus uh, Santa's duties and responsibilities, and given him eleven months to get his his affairs in order before reporting back to North Pole on Thanksgiving. Confused and overwhelmed, Scott changed his pajamas, providing to him and falls asleep. Uh, so the cast, uh, Tim Allen as Scott or Santa Claus, uh, Eric Lloyd as Charlie, Wendy Croson as Laura, Judge Reynold as Dr. Neil Miller, David Crum's Holt as Bernard the Head Elf, Paige Tumda as Judy the Elf, Peter Boyle as Mr. Whittle, and more. The production for this movie, the film was entirely shot in the Greater Toronto area. Oakville served as the town of Lakeside, Illinois. The reindeer used the film were all from Toronto Zoo. They, the trains used in the North Pole scenes and start of the film are all LGB. A critical response. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave the approval rating of 72% based on 57 reviews, with an average rating of 5.9 out of 10. The website's critics' concerns reads, the Santa Claus is a un 
untirely undemanding, but it's firmly rotated in sort of good old-fashioned holiday spirit, missing from too many modern Unionites films. On Metacritic, the film weighed an average of 57 out of 100, based on 13 critics, initiating mixed or average reviews. Audience surveyed by CinemaScore gives the film an average grade of A- on an A plus on F scale. Sandy Davis of the Oklahoma end up placing the film's sixth overall on her list for the best films of 1994. Whew. The Santa Claus. Uh, <clears throat> what did I think of The Santa Claus? I surprisingly did like The Santa Claus. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a good start to the franchise. I cannot lie. I loved it. Well, not loved it, but I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. I, lo- I loved Tim Allen as an actor. So I was really pumped walking in to watch this movie. Um, and I was so excited to watch this. I was like, yes, a Christmas movie with Tim Allen. I'm down. So I watched it and I loved this movie so much. I seriously think people should definitely watch The Santa Claus. Because people will love The Santa Claus. Um, I was surprised with uh the story because i didn't know how they were gonna interpret their story but it was really well done so they did good in that um but yeah i think it was a great movie you should definitely watch it with your family because it would be a definitely a great movie to watch with your family so i recommend the santa claus and that is why for my grade I will, so, for my score, I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'll give it a 75%. Grade, I'll give it a B-, minus, and out of 10, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for listening to my review of The Santa Claus. I have my review for The Smurf, no, not The Smurf, uh, The Angry Birds 2 review, and, um, what was it? Clarence the Chance of Me Bulls 2 review. So that's going to be it from me today, after, well, after those two reviews. And yes, take care. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thank you. Take care. Peace.